from parties to vacations, doesn't it seem like some people are acting like we're not in the midst of a pandemic? So what's behind this bad behavior? Let's take a look. COVID vigilantes are on the hunt. Their prey, celebrities and party goers skirting regulations to get their entertainment fix in the midst of a pandemic. The COVID vigilante movement is gaining momentum on social media and there are even Instagram pages dedicated to outing party goers who travel to different locales to get their party on. The argument, if these revelers are posting their escapades on social media in the first place, then they're not immune to public outcry and scorn. So is this COVID shaming the right thing to do or does it fall on deaf ears? Psychologist Dr. Greg Kaysen joins us with more insight. Dr. Greg, you've openly backed the COVID vigilante movement in a video shared on social media. So tell us, what, what was your motivation there? Well, it's, I think sometimes, it's not that I openly back vigilantes overall. It's just that I think that this is something where we're having to put our own uh, view of public health before our personal pleasure. And people who are going out and uh, partying are actually putting personal pleasure before public health. And they have a variety of reasons for doing it. Um, but the people who are calling it out, these so-called COVID vigilantes, are actually trying to call out a problem of behavior that's going on in other people. You're right on there, Dr. Greg. I mean, there's something wrong with somebody who uh, just chooses to act in a reckless fashion. I mean, is this a form of a personality disorder? And, you know, I'm dealing it with it in my own life. I have family around me, friends around me, and it sort of comes in a parcel. They, they say that the COVID is, is, is a conspiracy theory. They're against the uh, vaccine. They're saying that the vaccine is dangerous. They don't want to do that. They don't want to use personal protection. They don't believe in social distancing. You know, I find that so reckless and such uh, self-centered thinking that they must have something going wrong with them. Well, I think there's a couple of things. I think that, yes, there are people who have personality disorders like narcissism who are just going to do what they want and others be damned. But I think there's a bigger problem going on. There was some early research about people who go into quarantine during the first SARS pandemic. And during that uh, pandemic, they actually found that people who received inconsistent messaging developed more PTSD and depression and actually then started to go against the own recommendations like staying inside. So it is unfortunate that actions of, of some people are so heavily affecting actions of others. 